This is the Music History Today podcast for July 15th. On today's show, Johnny Cash gets dropped and it's time for Gundam Style and Rock of Love. First up though, on this date in 1952, Jimmy Boyd recorded the Christmas song I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. The Patti Page television show premiered and eight-year-old Gladys Knight won the top prize on the Ted Mack Amateur Hour television show. In 1962, Pete Seeger learned the song Guantanamera from Hector Angulo, who was a student at the Manhattan School of Music. That song then became a permanent part of Pete's shows. In 1963, Dick Clark's Caravan of Stars tour started. In 1968, Apple, the Beatles' new business corporation, moved into its headquarters at 3 Seville Row in London, England. In 1973, during a concert, Ray Davies announced that he was quitting his band, The Kinks. He checked into a hospital for exhaustion after attempting to commit suicide and then rejoined the band a month later. In 1978, Bob Dylan performed in Hampshire, England. At the time, it was the biggest outdoor concert for one artist with over 200,000 people attending. In 1983, the sequel to Saturday Night Fever, Staying Alive, premiered in movie theaters. The soundtrack did okay, not spectacular, but neither the soundtrack nor the movie came anywhere close in popularity or money as the original pop culture phenomenon. Also in 1983, the movie version of the musical Pirates of Penzance premiered in movie theaters. In 1986, Raising Hell from Run DMC became the first hip-hop album to sell over one million copies. In 1986, same day, Johnny Cash, who had been on Columbia Records for 26 years, was dropped by the record label. In 1987, Boy George was banned from a television show in England because they said that he was, quote, a bad influence, end quote. In 1989, Pink Floyd held a free concert in Venice, Italy. In 1991, Janie Lane of Warrant married model Bobby Brown. In 1999, Bob Weir of the Grateful Dead married his wife Natasha Munter. In 2001, Insane Clown Posse held their second Gathering of the Juggalos concert. This time, Vanilla Ice was a guest performer. In 2006, Avril Lavigne married Derek Wibley of Sum 41. In 2007, the Bret Michaels reality television show Rock of Love debuted. And as part of a promotion for his shows in London, England, Prince gave away his album Planet Earth to readers of British newspaper The Daily Mail. In 2009, Paul McCartney played at the Ed Sullivan Theater for the first time since 1964 when the Beatles played their famous gig there. He was there for an appearance on the television talk show The Late Show with David Letterman. In 2010, Robbie Williams reunited with his old group Take That. In 2011, Nick Lachey of 98 Degrees married TV host Vanessa Manillo. In 2012, the song Gundam Style by Psy debuted on YouTube. In 2013, rappers Run the Jewels was formed. In 2016, Chris Martin of Coldplay divorced actress and entrepreneur Gwyneth Paltrow. Also in 2016, Alice Cooper made his every four years announcement that he was running for president, but then never did or does still. In 2017, Aaron Carter was arrested for possession of marijuana and also for drunk driving. And in 2018, the Guns N' Roses song November Rain became the first music video from the 1990s to be viewed over one billion times on YouTube. In classical music in 1965, Leonard Bernstein premiered his piece Chichester Psalms for chorus and orchestra. In theater, in 1922, the musical Shuffle Along closed on Broadway. In 1949, the musical Miss Liberty opened on Broadway. In 1967, the musical Sweet Charity closed on Broadway. And in 1980, Linda Ronstadt starred in a revival of the Broadway musical Pirates of Penzance. In award ceremonies that were held on July 15th in 1986, El Cerrito, California, 
made the day John Fogarty Day in honor of their hometown son. Albums that were released on July 15th include in 1966 when the Yardbirds released Roger the Engineer. In 1972, Neil Diamond released Moods. In 1973, Grand Funk Railroad released We're an American Band. In 1974, Rick Springfield released Mission Magic. In 1980, Donny Iris released Back on the Streets. In 1982, America released A View from the Ground. In 1983, Big Country released The Crossing. In 1985, The Damned released Phantasmagoria. In 1986, Lionel Richie released Dancing on the Ceiling. And Spandau Ballet released Through the Barricades. In 1996, The Samples released Outpost and Tonic released Lemon Parade. In 1997, Dwight Yoakam released Under the Covers, Sarah McLaughlin released Surfacing, and the Dandy Warhols released The Dandy Warhols Come Down. In 2003, April Wine released April Wine's Greatest Hits Live. In 2004, Eric Clapton released 20th Century Masters, The Millennium Collection, The Best of Eric Clapton. In 2008, John Mellencamp released Life, Death, Love, and Freedom, and the Jelly Bricks released Good Night to Everyone. In 2011, the Goo Goo Dolls released the EP iTunes Live from Soho. And in 2014, Judas Priest released Redeemer of Souls, and Loverboy released Unfinished Business. Singles that were released in the UK on July 15th include in 1976 when the Eagles released Life in the Fast Lane. In 1977, the Jam released All Around the World. In 1984, John Lennon released I'm Stepping Out. In 1985, Phil Collins released Take Me Home. In 1991, Extreme released More Than Words. And in 1993, R.E.M. released Night Swimming. Meanwhile, in America, in 1966, The Zombies released Indication. In 1967, Brenton Wood released Gimme Little Sign. Also on that same day, The Soul Survivors released Expressway to Your Heart. In 1970, Poco released You Better Think Twice. In 1972, The Rolling Stones did a twofer. They released All Down the Line and Happy. In 1981, George Harrison released Teardrops. In 1997, the notorious B.I.G. with Puff Daddy and Mace released Mo Money, Mo Problems. In 2003, Jane's Addiction released Just Because and the Eagles released Hole in the World. And in 2013, Prince Royce released Darte Un Beso. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 15th include singer Linda Ronstant, DJ Porter Robinson, Ian Curtis of Joy Division, guitarist Joe Satriani, Ray Toro of My Chemical Romance, opera tenor Charles Anthony Caruso, Marky Ramone of the Ramones, disco singer Alicia Bridges, Jeff Carlissi of 38 Special, Johnny Thunders of the New York Dolls, David Pack of Ambrosia, Artemis Pyle of Leonard Skinnerd, Roki Erickson of the 13th Floor Elevators, Peter Banks of Yes, singer Millie Jackson, Peter Lewis of Moby Grape, country music singer Tommy D, country music singer Cowboy Copas, songwriter Dorothy Fields, producer Shep Pettibone, Chi Chang of the Death Tones, Trevor Horn of the Buggles, musicologist John Wesley Work III, music arranger Pee Wee Barnum, rapper Jada Youngin, rapper Lud Foe, singer Ali Alexander, rapper Jim Jones, singer Cheng Zhao, 
rapper and actor Brian Austin Green of Beverly Hills 90210 fame, singer Haley Scarnato of American Idol fame, saxophonist Joe Harriet, and session pianist Sadiq Hakim. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 15th include composer Antonio Pacioni, who passed away in 1738 at the age of 84. Opera great Farinelli passed away in 1782 at the age of 77. Composer Robert Wainwright passed away in 1782 at the age of 33. Composer Jacques Dauphly passed away in 1789 at the age of 74. Violinist Gaetano Pugnani passed away in 1798 at the age of 66. Composer Jean-Baptiste Ray passed away in 1810 at the age of 75. Violinist Vincenti Studzinski passed away in 1854 at the age of 39. Pianist and composer Carl Zerny passed away in 1857 at the age of 66. Composer Ludwig Grossman passed away in 1915 at the age of 80. Violinist Leopold von Auer passed away in 1930 at the age of 85. Jazz cornet player Freddie Keppard of the original Creole Orchestra passed away from tuberculosis in 1933 at the age of 44. Pianist and composer Walter Donaldson passed away in 1947 at the age of 54. The mother of Beatle John Lennon, Miss Julia Lennon, was killed in an auto accident in 1958 at the age of 43. Composer Ernest Bloch passed away in 1959 at the age of 78. The opera singer with the Metropolitan Opera from 1923 to 1950, Lawrence Tibbet, passed away after surgery in 1960 at the age of 63. Clarence White of the Birds was struck and killed by a drunk driver in 1973 at the age of 29. Drummer Rick Carbertson of the Bizarros passed away by suicide by carbon monoxide poisoning in 1979 at the age of 28. Composer Henri Martelli passed away in 1980 at the age of 85. Musician and producer Bill Justice passed away from cancer in 1982 at the age of 58. Cricket player and composer Jack O'Hagan passed away in 1987 at the age of 88. Jazz trombonist and band leader Will Bradley passed away in 1989 at the age of 77. Rapper Trouble T. Roy of Heavy D and the Boys passed away after a fall in 1990 at the age of 22. Composer and guitarist Hank Vandermolen passed away in 1992 at the age of 71. Graphic designer and album cover artist for, among others, The Doors, The Stooges, and Tim Buckley, Mr. William S. Harvey passed away in 1993 at the age of 72. Singer Bill Woodruff Sr. passed away in 1995 at the age of 66. Opera singer Louis Quilico passed away in 2000 at the age of 75. Singer Paul Young of Mike and the Mechanics, not the Paul Young, the solo artist who sang Come Back and Stay or Every Time You Go Away, passed away from a cardiac arrest in 2000 at the age of 53. Composer Jean-Ric Wagner passed away in 2000 at the age of 78. Singer Elizabeth Welch passed away in 2003 at the age of 99. Guitarist Kelly Johnson passed away in 2007 at the age of 49. Jazz musician Howard Rumsey passed away in 2015 at the age of 97. And harpsichordist, musicologist, and conductor Alan Curtis passed away in 2015 at the age of 80. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 16th, when in 1966, the supergroup Cream was formed. Thank you very, very much for listening, if you're listening on the podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday.
You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcasts from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jamaritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching. <laughs>